Well, today, thousands of New Yorkers had the chance to get the monkeypox vaccine as the city held three mass clinics in the Bronx, Brooklyn and Queens. Well, here in the Bronx, 1400 people got their shots, but some they're still waiting. Well, this comes as the city reports 461 monkeypox cases and News 12's Faith Graham tells us more about where vaccination efforts stand tonight. Appointments for today's monkeypox vaccine clinic went live Friday night, filling up in less than an hour. We had to all kind of be ready at 6 p.m. apparently, so I had my computer laptop open. I just went on and there it was. I was able to get the appointment, but they went quickly though. One by one, those lucky enough to get an appointment headed inside the Bronx High School of Science. All of this is great, but what we still continue to need in the Bronx is our own sexual health clinic. Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson satisfied with the efforts so far, but making it clear that a one day clinic is not enough. So we believe the Bronx is important to be prioritized for its own clinic, and it's really working with the health department on capacity, making sure that the existing site has the space and the staffing to accommodate new services. The struggle to get a vaccine all too familiar for Matthew Cancel. The New Yorker failed to get an appointment and then tested positive for monkeypox. I started having swollen lymph nodes. I had a fever. I had a headache. Then he developed blisters, but getting a test turned out to be just as hard as the vaccine. New York right now is reporting about 500 positive cases. It's way more than that. It's way more than that because people like me who wanted to get tested were not able to, didn't know where to get a test, and was also told that those tests were inaccurate. Now he's calling on the city to improve education on the virus among both the medical community and the public. I was very upset. It was taking a toll on me mentally more than anything because I felt very alone. I felt very isolated. I felt like nowhere I was turning, I was getting answers. Cancel is also urging the health department to expand access to all New Yorkers, regardless of sexual orientation. As of tonight, the city's website says no more appointments are available. In Bedford Park, Faith Graham, News 12.